you're just lazy and anyone who has had a relationship with somebody different from them should know better um, anyone anyone who comes down to Karen house and hangs out with the women see how hard they're working you know to get a job like to get a job that this person would never accept you know we have somebody come in from West County and cook once a month and they hang out with the ladies um, these ladies are looking for housekeeping low-level secretary factory jobs that would take them two hours on the bus to get to, two hours to get back, making $7 an hour minus the, the cost of transportation. And if you had a child into that, it's unfathomable. Um, so, it's, and it, so it is unfathomable the level of work it is to try and find work, to find housing, to find transportation when you haven't inherited it like I have. Um, I inherited all this wealth because of my skin color, um, because of past oppressions and things like that, and because I have access to, to wealth and to loans that the ladies who live here don't have, um, it's, you know, based on racism and all kinds of things. Um, so it's important to look at the, the underlying context of why, why, why the, the difference in scale, why is the minimum wage so low, why is the difference between CEO and worker pay so outrageous in terms of its ratio, um, why, and what are the laws that are benefiting that and, and not helping that. Um, so I think it's really, people don't have a lot of context, and um, giving that to them, they, they start to see that people are working really hard, and no one wants to be homeless, no one wants to be poor, especially in this culture, which so celebrates the new Nike, and the new computer, and the new MP3 player, um, that's thrown into these poor people's faces all the time, and they see what they're missing, um, which kind of adds insult to injury. Um, because they can't have it, and they're largely the ones who are making those products to start with. I think people know that all of the jobs have been outsourced. I think people know that they can't find work um, for the first time, you know, since you know the recession sort of started. Um, and that's part of the Occupy movement, I think, too, is, is this outrage over uh, this loss of manufacturing jobs, this loss of real work um, that, that produced real things and real wealth. Now all we have is this financial sector that traded, trades money around and tries to make money off of it, which is not dignified work at all. It's usury and it's immoral. One prime thing is privilege, and especially racial privilege. And it is essential for white people to become more aware of their privilege, to become more aware of the history and the legacy of slavery, the Jim Crow laws, and the results that that has had on people of color is one of the most important things, I think, for people um, who are white to, to understand and to become more aware of. Um, because we don't have to think about race all the time because we're the direct beneficiaries of racism. Um, people of color, it's, it's on their minds every day. And that is an obstacle that they have to go over that we don't um, as people who are white. And um, I think that's an enormous, enormous part of a lot of our problems is, is that racial divide. And our, our blinders about it in terms of, well, slavery is over, so get over it and move on. That's a very good first step for people who are in the suburbs to take, to kind of realize that the world is a little, it isn't so white uh, and privileged, um, and that they have had a little easier along their lives than people of color have. I do, uh, I have a survey that I do in, in high schools a lot, and we do it for groups that come through. You know, if your parents had to, if you were sick and had to go home from school, would your parents get fired for coming to pick you up? It's stuff like that. Like, oh, it yeah. wouldn't occur to me, you know? Right. So there's just, I think a, a lot of it is, so it's both understanding privilege, but I think it's also like forming relationships for people who are in the suburbs to get out of their comfort zones of the private everything and to, to start to take part in a public um, forum, you know? Issues that suburbs are planned, they're planned gated communities essentially that keep out people who are not the same. So part of the problem is, is that we've isolated ourselves residentially so much that we don't live by anyone who looks different from us or makes less money than us. So I grew up in the suburbs and it's it's all white people with money, you know, and there's a real poverty to, to that, um, that division and that segregation. 
Um, and it creates this isolation and these misunderstandings, I think, that you wouldn't have if we had more mixed neighborhoods. Mm -hmm.